a couple Polaroid orders I need to fulfill and then a ring order so I will be showing you how I make this ring. In my last video I showed how to make this ring and it's basically the same process to make this one except you wouldn't have as many of these spacer beads. Um, I had some comments on my last video saying that they had trouble finding a needle that works. I think the most important part is finding a needle that can go through the beads completely. A lot of needles are bigger um, where the hole is so you want to make sure that this part fits through the bead. And a way to get the stretch cord through the needle is by using some string. Um, I'm just going to cut off a small piece. Tie a knot around the stretch cord and then you can put this thread through the hole instead of the stretch cord through the hole. Uh, you should be able to get this stretch cord through. And then just pull this off after. To make this, I use different colors for um, each flower. This person's size is much smaller than the ring that I have here. So I will probably have to take out a couple of the flowers. I usually choose to do just one green because I feel like these greens look very similar anyway. So I'm gonna start with the red flower. I'll explain how I make the flowers again, but if um, it's still a bit difficult, you can check out my last video. I think I went much slower in explaining. So you're gonna start off with one petal color one center color for this one i just use the clear beads one petal color one center color and three petal colors so i have one petal color one center color and three petal colors and now i'm going to thread the needle through the first bead And this is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna put two more of the petal colors. And then put the needle through this bead right here, the one closest to the center. Last time I had someone ask about um, this center bead not being flat and having it stick out. I think my rings had to do that as well, or my flowers had to do that as well. I literally just use my finger to push down the center bead and pull on the string. Okay. And then between each flower, I put a clear bead. And then I do the exact same process, but with another color.
had to change my location but this is the ring that i just made this the um rainbow flowering it has all the colors of the rainbow and i added these like pastel purple and pink ones at the end and then this one you can actually buy as a set with this band and i just feel like these two rings go really well together um they basically use the same color beads so yeah i think it looks really cute together again if you wanted to purchase one of them or purchase both of these you can check out the link in my description or if you want to make um make them on your own i have a link to the beads that i use as well as um a different video where i feel like i explain in more detail how i make the flowers if you do decide to recreate these please tag me on instagram um so i can see so now that i finished the rings i have a couple polaroid orders to pack and i need to pack these up as well so yeah I have a lot of orders to pack, most of which are Polaroids, so yeah, let's get started. I actually just use construction paper and I use my paper cutter to cut all of them in half and then I fold them in half one by one and then I usually do some like just write thank you on the front with my brush pens and then I use these envelopes from Michaels. I just like how the craft paper one looks and I write little messages on the back using my white pen. 